Yes, the first red steel double ingot. Yay! Woohoo! Where are you? Where are you, man? Where are you? Have something. Where to... you? I want have something. I'm. I want to throw at you, man. Oh, black steel double ingots. No. Sorry. No. Is that what I was supposed to be working on? <laughs> oh, red steel! Holy crap! Yes. Check it out. What are you making? We have to make a red steel ink, a red steel anvil now in order to be able to, to work the red steel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I finished up it, the black steel one. I found the ones that you had hid because I knew mm -hmm. you had said you had made some, and I got two red steel double ingots made, and that's all I've got time for. So I pretty much am at the bottom of my. Uh, work effort so um, I yeah. we have processed all the good or I actually went into the, the hidey hole and I had a hard time finding a hidey hole because I, I need to clean up my mess from earlier um, but wait the, the, the vault yeah the honey pot or whatever it's called yeah <laughs> the honey pot yeah yeah, so there's those two. There's a, a completed red ingot here because I only had one black steel at the time. And then I've got the other three weak red steel ingots in here. Because you can mm -hmm. put them. So those still need to be welded to black steel and then worked to be red steel. Yep. I don't know if you've done Perfect. all that before. But um, Cammy got on us helping out with the. Red steel, right? I have never made black steel until today. Or pig yep. iron, or <laughs> steel, or a lot of things. But I, I was getting some things. good patterns off of the anvils if it's not laggy. When it's laggy, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. Because I basically have figured out that um, four upsets, or an upset and then four light hits kind of move it just a little bit backwards. So if you like go past... Mm -hmm. And it's just a little bit too far, like a little bit needed just a little bit more. You just hit the upset and back with the hits upset and keep doing that. But I had gotten patterns for a lot of them, but I, they're in my head and, and I have to do them to see them. So I'll try to write them down tomorrow um, if it helps any. I don't know if, if you just kind of wean it too. I, I kind of have got to where I know like for a pig iron to make it into steel is like you hit shrink like so many times until it goes past and you hit upset mm -hmm. once and then you know all those things so but yeah but if if you have them in your head please write them down that way we can well i i can only do them actually hard. doing them so i need to actually do them again and write down what i actually did because it's like i can do them and look at how far they go and know when i need to stop or i might be mm -hmm. able to watch this video and and get it off of there too um, but I would have to actually right. do that because I've actually been recording for the last hour and four minutes too while I was doing a lot of well I had already made my first red steel ingot before um, Cammy got on and then she got on and made a few batches of pig iron um, but then uh, she was puttering out already so she went to bed um, this ingot pile here is rose gold mm -hmm. I had made some to make um, the red steel so you have still two blocks of it um, basically, to right. make the red steel, you get, um, and I guess I can put this on a thing. It, I used four ingots of black steel, one ingot of rose gold, one ingot of brass, and two ingots of steel. And that gave me eight ingots of this weak red steel. All right. Sounds good. And that's the, that's the only combination that really works. You had to do them eight at a time. Yep. Perfect. And then for the black bronze and stuff, I was mixing them up, but I've already used all the black bronze, so it's time to make another batch of black bronze. Um, all right. I was doing it by the, like, making multiple ingots at once, too, since you already had the um, copper in ingot form. I was just mm -hmm. basically, I'd made some a bunch of gold bars um, here, so it takes one gold bar, one silver bar, and two copper bars. It gives you four bars of black bronze. 
So mm -hmm. I still have some gold made, but the silver, I was just using the um, standard silver and, and melting for the ore to make one ingot. But the all right. gold, since all we had was the rich gold, I went yeah. ahead and made uh, like seven ingots worth because it was um, 20 of the of the ingots made, I think, seven of that or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I did it now. I I think I'll I'll uh, start out by turning most of our stuff into ingots. That way we can more easily. Dose. Yeah, the only thing that doesn't need ingots is the unshaped brass, which is sphalerite. And so I've got a partial one in there. Basically, what you I did is I just I just melted a copper ingot and mm -hmm. then tossed in I think one piece of small sphalerite and it turns it into brass. All right. Because you perfect. need the brass for the uh, red bronze, but. I really, I don't know how long you're going to be on. Are you working today or you say you're off today? I'm off today. All right. So, I mean. Um, I'll be on quite a bit. You, but, I mean, uh, you know I how much pig iron and crap that we use. So, I mean, you could probably just make pig iron and steel till you turn blue in the face and yeah. would use it all because it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it is. But, um. But I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do as much as I can today. And then I, as also... I'm leaving a bunch of charcoal. I had was keeping some on me because I was... I figured if we do get raided, then that's one more thing that we could lose. Or do you want to put some of it in the hidey hole? Because I've got, like, tons of charcoal from today from all the stuff I was doing. And I would just, you know, if we're hiding other things, I would think we might want to hide charcoal yeah. too so i guess maybe if if you're gonna go back to the hidey hole to get some stuff later if you don't mind to put a, put some in there put sure. some in there like three or four vessels worth of it because i right. i'm looking through now i've got on me one two almost three full vessels of charcoal hmm. so i'll put them here if you want to put them right. in the hidey hole, then that, I hope I don't that, forget. That would but make me I'm, feel better. <laughs> well, try. if you forget, then I'll hate you forever, man, forever. All right. I think that's something I, I can risk. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how much dacite I need to clean up my mess, but it's probably a few. Well. Maybe we can, we can just cover it over. I mean, we don't. Well, need that's to. what I'm planning on doing. But I don't, have you seen it yet? <laughs> no. Oh my god, dude! It's always just one stone. Well, no one <laughs> told me it was always just one stone. I was like, just like dig down the stones <laughs> below your feet, and I dug. And I'm like, well, was I standing in the wrong place? I dug. I said, well, let's come here somewhere. And, it's, and, yeah. and it's not below. It's in front, at your feet. Oh well, see, I. I didn't. I missed. You found it afterwards. Yeah, right? I found it in the new place. Yes, right. and now I forget where I even I was supposed to be going. So the uh, the new place found the honey pot, not the parkour one. Yeah, I want the honey pot one. Oh wow! Yeah, there is a hole here. Told you it was a mess. Oh, well, I'm gonna call that bad in front of the. I love how you're looking for it in front of the actual hiding place. Well, I was um, walking around. Yeah. yeah. Well, because, see, that's why I was confused. It was talking about an L-shaped, and this was in an L. The um, thing was in an l shape, and so, so I thought it was did. talking about that, that I needed to, to dig there because it had the location of the entrance. And I just screwed up, man. I suck. Yeah. In my defense, no one was showing me, and I was really tired. Yeah, that's my story. And we apologize for not showing you. It's all right. It's my fault for not looking when you were showing other people. But now, would you like me to sh show the uh, what's it called? The parkour, the parkour one? No, one I, to you? I'm or not a parkour person. Parkour? Yes, I would be always too tired for parkour. So I All right. <laughs> I will just use that one. So did you get the um, anvil and the yep. other stuff back there all too? Here. And you're going to get all the hematite that's in there? Because I had only taken out a little bit because I didn't know if we were trying to save some back there for a storage reason or 
yeah. just for safety reason. I'll probably I'll get some more of that and then I'll call it a night probably. Try to leave you in good shape. I think there was quite a bit of flux, wasn't there? There was, but I mean Still? I've you know, you use a whole lot of it. Because right, you, you're using four pieces of flex per piece of pig iron, and then you use um, another piece of flex to, to meld it, and another one to do this, another one to do that, and next thing you know, you've used like a whole freaking three stacks of pig of flex. Flex, yeah. Cause I, all that flex I made earlier today, I used it all, and then I made some more, and I used most uh, used a lot of it too. Because, I mean, when you think it's, like, how many pieces of pig arm per um, black steel and then per red steel? Quite, and, quite a bit. Yeah, um, and it's... Are any of those trees in bloom? Um, there are... Cherry trees are in season right now. Oh, in season, I mean. Yes. yes. And if you want some uh, fresh fruit, I just picked a bunch of blackberries were in season, too, if you want some of those. But the cherries... I'll, gra I'll grab some cherries. Should give you like probably 10 or 15 pounds of cherries, I would think. And we really need sugar to conserve fruit. Yep. And if you get time to, you know, and there's not very many people on sometime later, because um, right now it's been pretty busy and I don't like going out when there's lots of people on. Um, filling up the water things and starting some vinegar because I we ran out of vinegar and I didn't want to use a whole barrel of water up when we're you know don't have an easy way to get more water right now so because oh. you know I'm paranoid I I should have uh, covered over the the water source that I wanted to cover over in the beginning that way we would have an easy accessible water source that is not as obvious as yeah. actually going outside. But should have well, been good. It doesn't matter. Here pretty soon we'll be able to move water blocks. So I mean we're yep. getting there. I'm 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 thinking tomorrow we should be able to do it. Oh, today. Well, today. Sorry. Tomorrow sure. today doesn't oh, sorry, yeah. tomorrow doesn't start until <laughs> I go to sleep. But yes, today. I did not realize. I meant once I get up the next day. Yep. Yep. For once, I didn't do it on purpose. Uh huh. Sure. Whatever. Yes. Oh, wow. Bless you. That was quite the sneeze. Okay. I was. Yep. Thank wasn't you. sure if you're cussing me off off mic or uh, <clears throat> what you were doing. Yep. Oh, it was one of those sneezes with that you can feel through all the bones. You know the one. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, I made made some more flux. Now, now you have about three and a half stacks of flux. What? He's a genius. Valeron is a genius, and I just realized. Who is? Valeron. Oh, Valeron. I... Oh, is there people there? <laughs> or... Because I just figured out how to use this thing, and we can pinpoint the enemy right down to the very junk. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. And I didn't realize it until it got to, into my bed yesterday. Yeah, because it, it shows <laughs> well, you the chunk, but... that chunk it's sitting on, doesn't it? It's but, telling know, an area you know, you're where it's like I'm five genius, by five. But I don't understand what you're <laughs> saying, so it can't be me. I'm saying yeah, right it's, now it's I just realized. Just like the pro pick, you should be able to to work your way around the edges and figure out at least yes, where exactly. the center is, Cause... and that would be the center of their activity. Oh, first yeah. you find the corner, you know, and then you can pinpoint right. Yep. The diagonal direction, like three points <laughs> in. Yep. And you have the exact chunk they are in. Yep, the exact chunk that's keeping their their area oh, my loaded. God. I didn't realize that yesterday, Tyrone. But Perfect. now we know. <laughs> now we know. Yeah. Did you sleep in the new bed? No, I went to go look no at the new bed and no one had shown me. I looked where I thought it was and there were skeletons there. So I was like, doesn't look what? like a good bed for me. So I just uh, chose not to. 
Let's, let's yeah, have a look. Drac has been has been badly treated by the team. Well, it's all right. Yeah, I was I not in the base we need when y'all were showing. Oh shush! Because uh, yeah, you want to see it? Yeah, I here. went in there and there were skeletons when I went in there. Oh, even better then. <laughs> Well, I got shot in the face, and so I decided it wasn't really where I wanted to sleep. Um, could we maybe, just for security, um, close off the the back of the bed with a uh, with some dirt blocks? Ah, uh, good night, guys. No. All, right. All right, night, Drac. Because we're counting on enemies not going. Um, Drac, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. I was sleeping thanks in for, the bed. Thanks for all the work. No problem, oh, bud. That bad. Yeah, okay. It was. Uh, <laughs> I would say it was enjoyable, but it wasn't. But it, it was wasn't. long and tedious, <laughs> and it made me wonder yeah. why someone would design a game to be this tedious. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I think the answer <laughs> is is because he doesn't play it. Tedious permacraft. I'm surprised he doesn't play it himself. I no, mean, it, he doesn't play it did, himself. How would you know? Because he that watches. Game is good. He watches other people play it, and if he sees them progressing faster than he thinks they should, then he makes it even harder to progress. Yep. Seems to me that uh, green team is always on at the same time. I mean, we're on at the same time, but they they're not on as much as we are. Yeah. But when they are on, they're usually on in three or fours. Yeah. Yep. The blue team does that too. They'll, they won't be on a whole lot, but they'll have, you know, quite a few people on at once sometimes. But that's okay. We kick ass. We're the best team. <laughs> I say we're definitely the best team. I don't know if we're the best Terra Firma craft players. <laughs> yeah. Maybe no, we're, we're the best team. The no, tech. we may not be the best for this particular challenge, but as a team, we're the best. Yep. Yeah. So did we get another anvil? Yeah, steel? there's a um, black steel uh, anvil yeah. now. I finished up the black steel anvil that he had started working on, and then we're starting working on the red steel anvil now. Red steel anvil. Oh my do god, you... do we need that too? Yes. Wow. Can you tell me again, Drac, if uh, for red steel I need to do weak red steel with black steel, right? Yep, the weak red steel, All right. weld it to the black steel, and then you have to work it to make the red steel ingot. Yep. The red, the red steel. Yeah. All right. So it's I'm kind of like, do like doing the black steel with the, you do the pig iron yeah, and steel, the and iron. then you mix, weld it, and then you work it to make the black steel or whatever. It's the same kind of thing. Oh well, I'm going now for sure. Because I'm tired. Right. See y'all later. Later.